Mobility Management Basics. Module 1. What is Mobility Management? Welcome. This course will introduce you to the mobility management approach and help you explore how this approach can be implemented in your community. You can listen to these modules, take notes, and access the resources and links provided anytime you like. We also encourage you to share what you learn with your colleagues. These modules are by no means the only content that makes up a mobility management approach. But we have begun with some of the basics that every mobility manager will need to know. The main objectives for this course are to, one, introduce you to the concept of mobility management and how to apply it in your community. Two, introduce you to transportation strategies and funding streams. Three, provide you with links to resources available from mobility management experts in the disability, older adult, employment, and other fields. Fourth, link you to promising practices that will help you brainstorm customized strategies for your community. In this course, we won't give you the answers, but the tools to create the answers, as each solution has to be particular to your community and its resources. In this first module, we will look at the philosophy of mobility management and what it means at a practical level. Let's begin. Most of our daily activities take place outside our home. Because of this, transportation touches every part of our lives. Without transportation, there are many activities we could not take part in. Transportation also benefits others in the community, including public agencies such as human service and workforce development agencies. Transportation is what connects these agencies and the people they serve. If people cannot get to the agencies, they cannot access their services, and the agencies cannot fulfill their mission to provide life-sustaining and life-enhancing services to their customers. Transportation also impacts private businesses, educational institutions, and healthcare services, and many others. These type of organizations need to know that employees, customers, students, and patients can travel to their sites. And for the community at large, mobility is important for many reasons. A more mobile workforce with access to training and job sites attracts more employers to a community. A healthier population with access to preventive and follow-up care can help reduce health care costs. Older adults and people with disabilities who can travel independently to work, shopping, and social events experience a higher quality of life and continue to contribute to the community's well-being. Yet, in many communities, the quest for transportation is not always easily answered, especially for those who do not drive. When a community chooses to approach transportation solutions through a mobility management mindset, it is making a commitment to solve as many transportation needs as empathetically, creatively, and efficiently as possible. It's all about connecting individuals to a ride through a community-wide team effort. This mobility management concept has been around for several years but has emerged more prominently in the last decade or so. How were transportation solutions approached before mobility management? Historically, transportation providers' jobs, whether buses, taxis, even volunteer transportation, have been easier than they are today. Communities were smaller, there was less sprawl, people's transportation needs were more predictable. In this era, Operational concerns were of prime strategic importance, and customer concerns were largely subordinated, not ignored, but subordinated to the larger mission of successfully running a system. In this context, transit measured its success by its efficiency, effectiveness in providing services, and productivity. 
Then, in 2003, a movement began among transportation experts to elevate to primary strategic importance the quality of the customer's experience and subordinate the dozens of activities involved in service design and delivery. Who provides the capacity, using what assets, to that principle? This was a totally new approach. Connect the customer with a transportation service that may not be your service? That might not even involve using a bus? That might be a volunteer driver service or a bike or walking? All based on what is best for the customer? Perhaps the easiest way to understand this shift toward a customer focus is to take a look at this graphic. First, mobility management begins with a full understanding of customer needs. Second, community groups brainstorm potential solutions that match these needs with the range of available or possible solutions. Third, the community group engages one or more partners in providing the solution in a coordinated manner. Fourth, the group empowers customers to connect to the solution. And fifth, the group ensures customers can provide feedback on the solution so it remains relevant and useful. Note that as presented here, mobility management begins and ends with the experience and input of the end user. What does mobility management look like on the ground? Mobility management is innovation in transportation service and coordination. Not doing things the usual way, because that's the way we've always done it. Mobility management is local and regional solutions to fit community needs and visions. Mobility management is assisting people facing transportation challenges, whether they're youth, people with disabilities, older adults, people with limited incomes, to get where they need to go so they can live fulfilling lives in their communities. Mobility management is information and referral to assist individuals in learning about and accessing community and regional transportation services. Mobility management is a shared table of transportation providers, planners, and community stakeholders who collaborate, plan, implement, and maintain a family of transportation services. The individuals, or single individual, fulfilling the functions of a mobility manager is the crucial link in pulling the pieces of this puzzle of needs, resources, and community values and preferences together and connecting the dots among these in traditional and new ways. Thus, a mobility manager is at the vanguard of a community's mobility management activities. So what does it take to be an effective mobility manager? This individual has to be able to step into several roles, depending on the activity and if they are working with an individual or a group. For example, a mobility manager will be asked to be the following, a problem solver, a tireless advocate for those who need transportation, a facilitator of group discussions and problem solving groups, a teacher on content and process, a communicator who can connect people, agencies, and systems. A cheerleader who can champion the enterprising spirit of potential solution makers. What personal qualities do you think mobility managers need? To begin with, an empathetic patient listening style, a humble approach to their partners and the individuals they serve an ability to forge relationships with others based on common goals, the ability to allow a group to own its solution-seeking process, an open mind to solutions that may not be their first thought or may not have been tried before. Are there other qualities you would add? For a mobility manager to effectively work within the community, what type of support do you think they need the most? It is clear they cannot be successful without a strong network behind them. This network will involve all agencies, organizations, and individuals 
who have a stake in ensuring there are mobility solutions in the community. This includes transportation planners and providers, both public and private, workforce development and educational agencies, healthcare agencies and centers, community development agencies, employers and businesses, elected officials, local foundations and nonprofit organizations, disability and older adult services organizations, data gatherers, and fiscal professionals. A community can create and adapt its own list depending on the particular priority it is addressing. But what if such a network doesn't already exist? Like creating and fostering any type of professional network, mobility management requires that a leader or a group gather around a common goal, whether that goal is efficiency, reduction of costs, adding transportation options, meeting the transportation needs of a particular population, reducing congestion, or other goals. As a mobility manager, you can begin to develop this network by reaching out to organizations or individuals who share this common goal. Meet with potential partners one-on-one -on -one to find out each organization's and individual's interests and concerns. Approach them by listening to their reality and needs. It is less effective to begin by telling them what you can do for them, as if you alone have the solutions. Again, solutions are developed together with stakeholders, not for them. Then, invite those individuals to meet as a group. The group does not have to start out with a concrete plan or a way to fund any desired initiatives. It is best to first develop relationships and establish trust. Again, listening is a good way to do this. This will take time, and one should not be discouraged if talking is all that happens at the beginning. However, balance this gradual approach with a focus soon, or your partners may not perceive the meetings worth their time. Adults are by nature problem solvers and want to get down to business. A resource to move beyond talking to addressing specific transportation challenges is the Federal Transit Administration's Framework for Action tool. This is a community self-assessment resource to assist stakeholders in reaching a shared perspective and build a roadmap for moving forward together. In conclusion, let's look one more time at the defining characteristics of mobility management. First, mobility management creates solutions that are grounded in community members' needs. No mobility management solution can be created in a vacuum without knowledge of those needs. Second, mobility management is customized to the community. Mobility management solutions will differ by communities according to their needs, resources, values, and preferences. Third, Mobility management is a group activity. A mobility manager is the vanguard of a community's mobility management activities, but not the only participant. Without a strong network behind him or her, a mobility manager cannot identify and respond to community needs and innovate solutions. This network of partners is key to successful mobility management. Please view the many resources and links to expand your learning beyond this module. Thank you for your participation.